linear combination and spanning set. Here we have a very interesting question to solve. I like you to do it and then look into my solution. It says if vector u equals to 1 2 minus 1, v equals to 3 1 2 and w equals to 5 4 0 forms basis. So that means if vector u v w forms basis express the vector x in terms of the basis right so that is the question so basis is another word for spanning set so basically we are given three vectors and we say if they form a basis then you write vector x in terms of these right so that is the question so when we are trying to say write a vector x in terms of those given three vectors then we are also trying to say it's like a linear combination right that is what the question is now i'll solve this question using matrix column methods rather notation right so which i've already introduced to you and you will see how convenient and how beautiful it is so when we are saying write x in terms of these then basically we are saying that the linear combination of these should be equal to x in other ways we say a times vector u which is 1 2 minus 1 so this is a column matrix notation and for this we'll say b times vector v which is 3 1 2 plus c times vector w so i'm just writing the values i'm not writing the first statement which i should have a u plus b v plus c w equals to x so i missed that one so you can add that in your solution okay so c times w which is 5 4 and 0 should be equal to vector x which is 10 12 minus 5 right so it's not a bad idea it's not still late i can add my first statement and that is what i'm trying to say here is that a times u plus b times v plus c times w is equal to x right so now let's read the question once again so re relating this to the problem if u v w forms basis express the vector x in terms of the basis right so vector x can be represented in terms of the basis if it can be written as a linear combination correct and the whole idea now is to find the values for a b and c they will always be unique as an added exercise find out why they should be unique or why will they be unique okay now let's continue with our solution now when you do this then what do you get so we can get from here so a times 1 is a plus b times 3 is 3b plus c times 5 is 5c right so that is the matrix for us and on the right side we have 10 12 minus 5 let's go to this second row 2a plus b plus 4c and then we have minus a plus 2 times b plus c times 0 which is 0 is equal to this now so that is the matrix which we have and now for these two vectors should now for these two vectors to be exactly same their components should be same right so we get three equations and our equations are a plus 3b plus 5c equals to 10 so let me write down these equations now a plus 3b plus 5c equals to 10 second one is 2a plus b plus 4c equals to 12 and the third one is minus a plus 2 times b plus 0 equals to minus 5 now we have three equations and three unknowns so it is very simple to find the answer correct so we could have gone with matrix method to solve it but now i switch over to linear equations because i don't want to give you too much of one kind and uh, you know we are not trying to teach you matrix at this moment so we are trying to solve some 
vector equations. So we will have, now we can call these equations as 1, 2, and 3. Let's number them. So it becomes easy to deal with 1, 2, and 3. So these are my equations, equation 1, 2, and 3. Now to solve these equations, let's try to eliminate C from these equations and then, then solve the problem. So what we will do is, we'll multiply equation 1 by 4 and equation 2 by 5. So what I'm trying to do here is that I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 4. I want to eliminate C, right, by 4 and I'll multiply equation 2 by 5. So equation 2 by 5 and then rewrite these equations. So these numbers actually help us to communicate. If I multiply this by 4, what do I get? I get 4a plus 12b plus 20c equals to 40. And this one by 5 will give me 10a plus 5b plus 20c equals to 60. That is what we get. Now to eliminate C, we can subtract one from the other, right? So let me call these equations as four and five. So these equations are four and five. And now what I'll do is, I will do four minus five, right? So we are subtracting the equations and thereby we'll get minus six A. And here we get plus seven B and this is 0, we can write plus 0 equals to minus 20. And so we get another equation here, and let me write this as 6. So we already have an equation where there is no C in it, so we'll use equation 3 and 6 to further solve for the variables. So we have 6 times equation 3, right? 6 times equation 3. and then do the needful to solve for b. So 6 times equation 3 is minus 6a and plus 12b plus 0 equals to minus 30. Okay? So we get our equation 7. So like that we keep on adding equations and then what we can do is we can do equation 6 minus 7. So we'll do this time equation 6 minus 7 and let's see what do we get. So with this minus this, we eliminate A, and here we get minus 5B equals to 10, or B is equals to 10 divided by minus 5, and that gives us minus 2. So finally, we get one value, and that is B, and we'll write this as equation 8. And now we'll substitute this B in our previous equation let us say in equation 3, right? So we'll substitute b equals to 3 in a, this equation, right? So let me do it right here. So what I'm doing here now is I'm substituting b as equals to minus 2 in this equation, right? So what do I get? I will get minus a plus 2 times minus 2 equals to minus 5 and minus a and this is minus 4 equals to minus 5 and I can take a on this side and so I can write a equals to 5 minus 4 which is 1. So I get a value of a as 1 from here, right? So let me write down this equation as my equation 9. So what I've found so far is that b is equals to minus 2 and a is equals to 1. Now to find C, I can use my original equation and from that equation I can find C. So I'll sub these values in equation 1. So then let me write, rewrite the equation. It is A plus 3B plus 5C equals to 10. In this equation I'm writing A as 1. So I got 1 plus 3 times minus 2 plus 5 times C equals to 10 and that is 1 minus 6 plus 5c equals to 10. Or 5c is equals to 10, and this is minus 5 plus 5, correct? So 5c is plus 5, 
and from there I can write 5c is equals to 15 or c is equals to 3. So I get the value of c also. So we get the values for a, b and c, correct? So that is how you can actually find a, b and c and write down x. And so finally we can write down our answer and we say well now vector x can be written as combination of u, v and w where a is 1 for us so we'll write u and b is minus 2 for us so we'll write minus 2 v right and c is 3 for us so we'll write plus 3 w so that is the final answer right so that is how you can get linear combination of your vectors now I use this matrix method initially to get my equations right and you will realize that when, when we tried to solve equation it took me forever to get these values and I was really trying to look for numbers and match and try to get the answer it was really tough so you could have followed continued with matrix method of solving linear equations in that case you will find it very simpler right so if those who know how to solve equations with matrix uh, well they can continue with the matrix method and get the solution in two more steps so I will appreciate if you can pick up some skills to learn matrix and do vectors that is going to help you and save time for you anyway I'm not preaching that but here is how you can solve it so this is a hybrid method so that it can help most of my students uh, to solve equations in this chapter. Thanks and all the best.